everything's rolling. Yeah. I, <laughs> oh my! Oh my I love God. that. <laughs> Kiss in my ear. <laughs> Uh, uh, are we back? We're back, friends uh, and family. Friends and family, working on a pod is back. I'm your co-host Ryan Trainer. It me, Megan Twaino. Oh, y'all's voices sound so good in my headphones. So good, Monster, and my bestie is here, Scott <sighs> playing from the Pentatonic. Hi. Hi. Doom 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 da. <laughs> 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 it's gonna be so fucking good. Fuck zoom, yeah. Zoom, zoom, I mean, you could really, really sing. Oh, it's thank impressive. You. No, There's yeah. not a lot of people in this town that can actually sing, and I'm like, damn, Scott. Well, they have sing. to, yeah. It's just them. Just True. Just no instruments. It's just no instruments. Except for our song. I know. We can talk we about can, it too. Can we talk about them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, right? I love leaking stuff. Yeah, yeah, me too. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck them. Um, uh, Penny Tonics is going to have a song featuring moi, Megan Trainer. Oh, my God. What? For when you ask? Mm, for Christmas. For That's Christmas. right, everyone. We're going to spread a little extra holiday joy and cheer do this you, year. Yeah, do you like Christmas? Do you like Christmas? <laughs> do you like Buckle feeling up. happy? <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> me too. I made friends with you when, um, how did we do this? Uh, when did we meet? I think we met through Mario many years ago and like exchanged numbers and oh, never Mario really. Jose. Mario, Jose. Mario Jose. I was like Lopez. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mario Jose. Shout out to you. I love you. He just sang recently with me on James Corden. He's the one directly behind me. He's so cute. Um, and we so were much. singing your vocals because I forced you and begged you to sing backgrounds on all of my songs on this oh, new album. Not forced. I was like, I will be available. I, like, I could have had like a funeral that day. I would have been like, okay, cool. I'll do that. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, people, there, right? people think it's a full choir. Yeah. And it's just Scott and you, right? It's like, like why well, spend that money when you have Scott, you know? Oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> I'm available him. for... Because <laughs> your range is also nuts, so. Thank you. You get high. Thank you. And I you really like making choirs too. Yeah, it's you fun. have characters. You like? Did you want the crazy like? Ah! And I'm like, <laughs> yes, we need her. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So you're perfect, and you're all smothered. God, everyone all over. tells me that. <laughs> like it's wild. <laughs> they gotta stop. When did you realize you were just the best perfect. thing in the world? When I was really little, like, <laughs> like Zygo. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, thank you. Yes. I love y'all are hype people. I feel yeah, because like also we were talking about like what are we working on, but we when we have cool guests like you, we just want to know like where are you, who are you, where'd you come from? Um, you know? Yeah. Do you want me to answer that? Yeah. I, well, I, I just want to know like because like Megan would sing in the shower all the time like as a, I wasn't good till I was like twenty. Like when did you just start just when, like belting like, it out? Wow, I'm like, naturally I'm singing. So oh, good. that was an actual question. Yeah. I thought yeah. you were got it, got it. Okay, uh-huh. we're back. Um, <laughs> we'll go ahead and come <laughs> most of that out. Um, <laughs> Keep it all. <laughs> I mean, I started singing when I was really little. My sister always sang. And so when I was like two There's or three, I have two sisters. Are you the youngest? I'm the youngest. You're a baby. I'm a little baby. You're a tall little baby. Spoiled baby. <laughs> yeah. I'm a tall baby. And like, I would always sing with my sister. And like, I, I just fell in love with that. You never sang with me. <sighs> Piece of let's, shit. Let's unpack that. I feel like that. we sang in church. <laughs> you were I like, sang. It's lame. I know. And it's, mm. you know, what's tough is deep down i always wanted, wanted to be, be in, in sync you know I think, and i should have just told you my truths and i should have just sang i with think you. no i think you got triggered by um and traumatized almost by uh Posada, Posada. God, that was so t- that great. was a tough day in for fourth me. grade he was, was in apollo. a play apollo yeah and he had a big career he had a big shining part and he was pulled in a carriage and the girl small girl couldn't pull him because he was a big I boy. I was a heavy boy. Mm. And then he was embarrassed. And then he was like, I shall never sing another note. <laughs> that, that was your villain <laughs> that origin was story. Well, I mean, also, like, I remember it being in a in choir class. Oh, like, you had a singing. solo in choir. No, but I remember just some girl being like, your voice is so high. Why do you sing it? Why do you sing? Like, I didn't realize how cool it is. I mean, the weekend sings pretty high as well. Like, I, yeah, that's but cool. back then we were picked on. No, I yeah, know. I just let that get, to, don't let it get to you. Scott, just did you ever get picked on for singing? I had the same thing happen. Okay. I was in the lunch line talking to like this random kid being friendly. And he was like, you kind of sound like a girl. Oh. <gasps> And now I'm like, oh, that wasn't an offensive comment. But at the time, you know, I grew up in Texas. Masculinity is everything. I was like, what do you mean? No, I don't. (laughs) No, I don't. (laughs) I have no idea what you're talking about. I I still don't have a deep voice. I know. None of us do. (laughs) Wow. You you got pick a town. Pick it. I'm old now. I I got picked on. I I lost my chops. You know, you got to keep singing. So I do uh, like scream background vocals, though. Megan kind of guides me. He's a great background vocalist. Yeah. Like for gangs and stuff. Yeah. Also, you two were battling for one song, Dance. Oh, yeah. On, um, Do you know how many hours I spent I'm on that? So sorry. No, it's <laughs> you did. Okay, Honestly, wait, we have to tell them. <laughs> on my new album, Taking It Back, I have a song called um, 
dance about it and it's like why should we fight when we should just dance about it Love and when we i wrote it with ryan and my younger brother justin who produced it and at the time at the time ryan just went um dance <laughs> there's this big part and Honestly, i was like sick. it should be it should be like scott because scott's all over this album and he would kill it and we were like okay let's have him do it and my younger brother couldn't affect your vocal to like time right or something about his first magical take that we were like damn that just that yeah. beats it it really it was be. good i remember being like this is gonna be hard to beat but also <laughs> i like i was stressed because you were like make it like one syllable oh, no, it's no so dip hard. song no dance like dance, dance, dance yeah. but not too british dance. and i was dance. like i put i, get, I spent like a hundred options of me being like dance <laughs> dance dance Dance, dance, dance. dance. <laughs> dance. <laughs> I just sent you the audio, but it's crazy. Yeah, it was, effort was there, and I will pay you for that. So oh, thank you. Oh, my God, thank you. Uh, that's how we, like, kind of, like, met and became friends in this era. Yes. Because we were, like, acquaintances before. You proved to before. me that you would deliver, and I was yeah, like, wow, I'll do whatever minutes. you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you were, like, casually one day, like, would you ever do one song with Pentatonics? And I was like, I would throw up and cry. Oh, yes. my God. Yeah, we all and threw up and we, cried. And then we, you were like, well, we're doing our... 30th Christmas album and I was <laughs> yeah. like count me in I'm a Christmas baby the big three zero the here we go three zero. <laughs> wait is that seriously how many oh, Christmas no, no they have seven okay, okay. though Might pretty well much 30, 30. yeah, yeah. yeah. I have Un check it out uh, very trend of Christmas I'm like what's it called <laughs> um, it's great it's just the first of many um, love that seven. title seven's a lot seven is a lot of Christmas albums this is one's this fun is the seventh though. or the eighth I think this is the seventh but if okay. you count deluxes we're in the, we're in oh, the double dig. we're in the dubs yeah yeah. but this one's like a world can we say this song Oh yeah. The name. <laughs> this yeah. is a world theme, except this song. <laughs> except, well, kids are very universal. Kids so are this, very universal. <laughs> the song is called "Kid on Christmas." You said it first. I said it. Oh my <laughs> god. I love that I, title. No a kid rules. on Christmas. Wait, have I not played this for you? I don't. I don't know. It's a bang. Actually, we'll never do it live. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why not? No, yes. we will. We talked about it yesterday. It's a very hard song to sing. No, I was listening to the master yesterday, and I was like, I'm. Gonna, I can't wait to do this. Like maybe on award shows or something. Just dreaming <laughs> maybe big. At the yeah, maybe at the Grammys. Maybe at the Grammys. And February. I was just singing it. Can't sing it. I was like can't forever. Sing it. It's so high, dude. So why, why do you guys do that to yourselves? I feel like you always record these because songs we, and you're like, oh, fuck, I can't like sing this live as well as I'd like to. Because we're Just, dreamers. Okay. Yeah. And that's what got us here in the first place. <laughs> that part. Because yeah. I feel like every single song you do, you're like <laughs> no, every song I dreading singing it. it live. Yeah. yeah, no. yeah also, that's not my strongest part. Like, what is it? Talent? Um, That's not my strong point. Your strong What's it suit or something? There's a phrase. But like. Major attribute. Like I could write. You know, I could You're like, level 99 I could in talk writing. No, on telly. Yeah. No, ah, not like live live. I know how to record my voice and make it sound gnarly. I think that you're dead wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm like, you're I'm like literally one of the most so, accurate man. singers I've ever heard. So don't I, let her lie to you. Well, I think you're fucking wrong. It's just you're full <laughs> of my wrong. nerves. My nerves. Plus, like when you're recording in a studio, I could do it like a hundred times and pick the best of the best. Nerves yeah. one time live on telly. I'm like, I'm going to mess up this part and then i'm oh, gonna be in my head like, there's a lot of factors you know what my biggest concern about our song is what? the words the, so oh, many of them oh if there's so not a many. prompter i will <laughs> not be there like <laughs> it is a like a, the a musical theater song it is four minutes <laughs> yeah there's a lot of lyrics too a lot a lot of detailed lyrics anyways it's great the red dot on the camera when it's like live live yeah panic and how about when they don't put the red dot on? Nobody knows what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like on the camera. Right yeah, on. there's a red yeah. dot that tells you it's going. That That's where you know, like, I'm going to eye fuck that camera, you know? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have red dots here. So. There's no red dots. And sometimes that's I'll be like, at a show on? and I'll be like, where are the red dots? And, and they're like, like, we're oh. live on ABC. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Anyways, I can't wait for that. Christmas I'm pumped for, that, for the world to hear that. Scott, uh, where are you from? I am from Arlington, Texas. You poor boy. You made it out. I mean, I love Darlington things about Was Arlington. It amazing? Be, I mean, it was amazing in certain ways, but being a closeted gay person. That's what I'm like, saying. And a, yeah. and a like, you got to play baseball and become professional <laughs> type of yeah. place. It's like scary. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, played all the sports and was like, yeah. You did? I mean, you are built like an athlete. When did you come you, out? Really, thank you for saying no, that. No, you are built like a basketball <laughs> player. You, you are you taller than me. You can't see it, but he's the tallest person I know. Yeah. And I was Athletic really tall build. as a kid, so I would I could you make the team just for being twice the height. No right. coordination, really, but... You know. Just thrown like, into it, and you're like... Oh. I know that you're... Fiancé? Are you married yet? Well, fiancé. Yeah. I'm engaged. Engaged. <laughs> but I know that you, you two are... Not gay. No, no, no. <laughs> I know that you two are soulmates, though, because you're the same height. And I was like, how'd you find someone, like, 
hot and tall like you. Like, there he is. It was a journey. He's a model. <laughs> He's a model. Which is nuts. You could say, I married a model. I married a, yeah. <laughs> That's the <laughs> yeah. first thing on my resume. I grew yeah. second. <laughs> married a model. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's sick. That's how I know your soulmates. Oh Anyways, God, you. um, what are you working on? Well, I wanted to let's go back to Arlington, Texas. I uh, want to know oh, when, when you, you left baseball and huh. joined like an acapella got, group. When, oh, yeah. like, when did I make I the said, shift? I'm not gonna swing this bad. I'm going to I said, sing when my did you, When did I pull a Zac Efron? When did you like, come yes, out? No more basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just show court. Yes. Um, probably high school musical. I like you know in okay. high school I started doing <laughs> sports less and less. Like sophomore year, I was done with basketball and then got really involved in choir and show choir and was success. But I didn't really get into acapella until college because when I moved to LA to go to college, I had never really heard of acapella groups, but I didn't want to be in a frat because I didn't want to read Period. Relive. Nothing I'm against frats, just not. Nothing. I just get nervous. <laughs> um, and so I like oh, joined an dangerous. acapella group because it was a big thing at USC. Yeah. Um, and they and like drank. a community. And, uh, exactly. Yeah. It was like they partied, they drank, they lived the college experience, they had a house together, but they also like sang. And I was like, this is for me. That's okay. awesome. Okay, and then is that where you came out? Well, I I did come out my senior year of high school to like friends, and it kind of spread, and I was like, that's okay. And you you okay. said that your parents were very supportive, though, right? Yeah, they were really supportive. They were like, you know, they were more concerned like it was going to hurt my career, or it was like, you know, Ugh. all the stigmas around being gay, like like are all these horrible things going to happen to you? Are you going to get hate crimes on the street? And that does happen. Yeah. But I. I was like, but I'm moving to LA and I yeah. feel like it's more accepted there. It and so is. they were more concerned for me than like, you were betraying me. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so nice that they're on that side of things. Yeah, totally. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then you don't remember this, but I do. Was the competition show that you guys were on, was that after Pitch Perfect came out? Is that why that show even existed? No, that was right before Pitch before Perfect. It? Yeah. Okay. Acapella groups were, had a shining moment and there was a, what was it? it was a called reality? The like a sing off. The sing off? I remember watching this and there were all Where acapella. Where was this on? What was this on? It was on TV? NBC 10 years ago. The, the Teletoon? Like an American Idol situation. Yeah. Got it, like got it. For acapella floor. groups. Okay, just for acapella. Uh huh, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And y'all went on and you destroyed. Yeah, we, we, we absolutely killed that. Absolutely killed it. Did you win? You won. We won and we won a record deal with Epic Records. Stop. And then got dropped. I didn't know that. Then got dropped a week later. Not a week a later. Week? Yeah, because they switched CEOs. Epic. <laughs> I hate that shit when they're like, oh, everyone's losing their jobs and getting new jobs. So now they don't know anyone they signed. It's like, come on. <laughs> that, that was the story. It was yeah. like the, the I've entire heard that staff many times. was like switching out and they were like, we didn't like, know we had this obligation. Yeah. But they did say like, we'll sign you, bullshit. but like, we're not into it. And so we were like, no, it's okay. Well, Terrifying. But it got us out of like a the reality show deal so it was good oh, fantastic and then you beat all the odds and then you were singing at the Grammys every year with Kelly Clarkson I feel like you guys sing with Kelly Clarkson a lot yeah, we we do sing with Kelly a lot <laughs> right <laughs> yeah I love her I she love like loves her. harmony and pentatonics she and we does. just like she's so cool she's so fucking cool it was that same group that was on the uh the single the sing off what is it the sing the sing, sing off the, <laughs> the sing off sing, sing song the sing off the sing sing <laughs> Yeah. Was that main, that was like pentatonics or was that just that was pentatonics? Yeah, but that, we had one member quit since then. Okay, um, but you've all stayed together pretty much since then. Just one member. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's a long time. It's so impressive. It's They're having babies. Yeah, eleven years. We've eleven years. Yeah, and I have a theory that it's because it's like so harmony based and we need each other you to make the song other. happen. Oh, you need There's each other like to make this, how cute uh, is that? Isn't that cute? It's so cute. You are my harmony. Harmony oh. musically. Are you advice. gonna name your children someday like lyric, melody, <laughs> yeah, harm, Aria. upper third? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mozart. Upper yeah. third. Mozart. So not upper that. Third. <laughs> Alto. Alto. Cool, Alto's cool, actually cool. kind of a cute. I kind of like Alto. Alto. <laughs> okay, I named your kid if that happens. I love that. Amazing. Is there anything specific that you're working on? <laughs> that I'm working on? Honestly, a big thing I'm working on right now. Oh, yes. Is like. Doing something solo. Period. Because I've always been so scared of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I've always felt like it was really a vulnerable thing to put myself out there as a solo artist because if it, like, fit flops, I'm, like, totally, like, confirmed. I'm not interesting <laughs> at all by myself. Um, but the now I'm. most I, interesting. Oh my God, stop. Thank you. But I've, like, I finally am, like, learning to produce and songwrite and working on it every day. I'm, like, proud of a song I'm putting yes. out and, like, in a headspace where it can fail and I'll still be proud of it. And, like, 
Oh, so. it won't fail with the boy. Oh my God, thank you. Also, that's when we first started working together. I was like, let me play you songs. You're like, can I play you songs? And I was like, yes. And you played him and I was like, oh, thank God he's good. Um, it <laughs> yeah, was thank God I don't have to be fake. So good. I know. I was like, ah. <laughs> and also what happened is when you sent one of your songs, like you didn't ask me to put a choir on bad for me. This is classic man behavior. Yo. But I was like, just a thought. If you hate it, it's okay. I just like sent you a choir and you're like, whoa. Cool. I was crying because <laughs> no one is as fast as me. Like I can turn around a song in a day like that. And no one does it except you. And oh I found God. you and I was like, soulmate? Like, oh my God, just I love loves that. loves doing it. And then like it can record it in his bedroom and send you the files. I'm like, oh, mwah. so good. Man, a dream. A dream. That. Now your solo project, album. is it acapella or is it as just like? <laughs> All acapella. No. <laughs> is it, it's, it's, it's just like. So there is a lot of harmony in it. I like, okay. I love to arrange choirs. So I, there's going to be a lot of choirs and stuff in it, but it does nice. have instruments. Nice. And the first song kind of has like a Coldplay energy where it's like just one piano note and then it's huge at the end. It's epic. I would call it like epic songwriting. Like rip your heart out. I love drama. It's the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. The drama. Yeah, I love I love it to feel cinema. <laughs> and his fiance is so cute. He was like, play this one. This one's my favorite. Oh my and I was like, that's my favorite too. And now it's his first single. Oh my God. You did have some influence there. <gasps> you I was and like, Mark. Oh, I'm so glad they picked that one first. I it's would trust so her for sure. Long. I trust yeah. Megan and then, life. Yeah, but what's crazy though is he... Like basically directed and did this whole music video by himself that he's been sending me pictures of. He's like, really? what do you think? I'm like, uh, it's outstanding. And I'm like, how much money was put into this? Because it literally looks a million dollars. And he was like, I had no budget. And I was like, what? How did you make this happen? <laughs> so you. Scott's one of those artists already, which is why I know it's going to be fine and great. That you do everything yourself. You do you it know? all yourself. You have to. Thank you. I feel like the artist that, which is what I respect and love about you, is like when you're totally in like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We'll get there. <laughs> when you're so immersed in a project that you have to like, when you like really believe in it and you're not just showing up, it's like, it's totally different how it comes out. Right. Yeah. You can see it. I mean, he looks like a superstar in this. You're going to be like, why didn't he direct your video? Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I did um, a music video recently for Made You Look. I did most of it. Um, it was during the heat wave and it was just a hot, hot day. It was. 108 and there was no air conditioning in this home. And I asked all my cool famous friends to be in it and up they in chatsworth up. okay that's in, deep deep valley deep los hot, angeles deep, hot. deep deep hot. and i was promised like really cool big sets didn't get them so i was screaming and crying on set <laughs> you had and a couple moments my friends showed up for me and scott and his hubby make an appearance in the video oh as my, my security guards We're protecting who are also gay serving. and in love <laughs> yeah. so. i mean what blew my mind though is they're just <laughs> walking around these suits not dropping a single bead of sweat not, not a single bead just, of sweat oh. turtleneck yeah i'm turtleneck. like turtleneck I was like, take it off. They were in it just for at all least smiles, two hours. just like, yeah, we're having a good time. Yeah, they're like, like thanks for having they us. They dressed you like, way too please, soon. Please You're leave. <laughs> yeah, way you too were, soon. you just, you were just doing like perimeter walks around the house. Like we were security guards now. Yeah, like, we were protecting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah protecting. no, we were happy to be there. They were Honestly, also, was... you also came in my room and saw how miserable I was because that was when I was wearing latex. That was not my size, so it was breaking a rib, and I was boiling. I was, and when I, I took, grabbed it, I go, why are you wearing a balloon? Why are you wearing a balloon? The sweat was coming through the pores of the latex. Remember, we looked at my shirt. We're like, ew what's this brown water on me? And it was my spray tan sweat. And when I took that thing off, it looked like a cup of coffee came oh out. Like bleh, everywhere. I was like, should I bathe? Like, what do I do at this point? But yeah, you guys came in, knew I was miserable because we waited two hours for that setup. Mm -hmm. That was like already done. It was just waiting for the camera. And you came in and made me laugh and made me happy. Aww. And you're like, what can we do? And I was like, <laughs> So you guys Aww. made my day. I'm going to do a we reshoot. I'm going to pay out of pocket and do a quick dance routine. Because my mom was talking to me and we agree that I had to dance, dance looks for this video. Didn't get time to shoot it. Oh. So... Uh, paid for all the time. So well, we're going to do it again. I'll be there. We're going to do it again. I'm going to pay out of pocket and make sure it's the best video ever. That's good. Well, that's what I love about you. There. You're like, I'm going to yeah. make this work and I'm going to make this right. Because like someone also was asking me, I'm like, this is my last chance of being hot because I'm about to get knocked up so hard. <laughs> oh I'm probably going to have twins. Is that um, another exclusive announcement? I'm pregnant. Just kidding. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I want to be. Uh, I'm bleeding actually, so I'm not pregnant, but um, <laughs> I awesome. will start. Yeah, let's get into that. Yeah, at least you know you can always get back to to this. You can always do it. You did it. I know, but when I have my twins, hopefully. Oh, you're going for twins. Who knows what those bottle will do? <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> it's gonna be good. So you you all right? That's why you want these. I'm literally dance taking scenes like scenes because you're. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't say that, but I'm taking like extra vitamins to get knocked up. Right. So I'm trying before we leave for 
Oh, we're leaving. Nobody knows our life. We're going to Australia. <laughs> we'll be there by the time these drop. Okay, I cool, think. Cool, cool. We'll see what happens. We'll see. I don't know. Well, we're traveling a lot coming up. So before yeah. we go, we're trying to bang some cool podcasts. And, yeah. And what am I saying? And music videos. <laughs> Anyways, use When are you going to direct your own video? I, well, I basically just fucking did. Well, all right. All right. Let's um, be... <laughs> they respect Poe. Um, I, yeah, I'm going to about to start do it, start doing it. My, the biggest problem is like the art direction is like, that's the hardest thing to find someone who could build yeah. this accent. Come out of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Hey, hey, it's hard build. to find someone sometimes. <laughs> it's hard to find someone who could build a good set. Um, I feel like we could direct that. You just bring on like, you if you have a fierce me. DP that can like make everything look amazing, yeah. then you just get to do the like, I kind of want it to be you closer. You need a good DP, <laughs> you need a good art director. Yeah. And like a whole, it's a lot. Yeah. But people do it and they make it look easy. Sound I make it look easy. Thank you. <laughs> now, how did you direct your own video? Do you, you just like always had this director inside of you that you're just like, "Yep, I got this." Like, how did you how I, did you figure this out? I feel like I've always wanted to, and Pentatonix has done so many videos that I okay. felt like ready cuz you, you know, being around it, you yeah. see how it's done, but like I just like made a little treatment and then my best friend in the world is a director and choreographer. Um, Lindsay, you've That's worked nice with her, which her. is such a small world. Oh yeah, on just got paid. I oh just nice, got yeah, yeah, yeah. Paid. yeah. And so That's her great. and her like creative director partner kind of like helped me through it. Um, nice. So they were like co-directing it, and then our DP was just iconic. That was like, yeah, that is such that a game DP. changer because he, I'm like, I want it to look When's cinematic and beautiful and an above shot, and then he makes it look incredible, and I'm like, great, this was me. This <laughs> <And> me. <laughs> you know, said, I'm like, I directed this. You it's like did literally. It. <laughs> That's like, the other thing too. I'm like, well, if I'm directing i've always been doing this yeah. like no, sometimes i think about it, I'm like ooh, maybe i could like <laughs> yeah. co-direct a video with megan one of her videos but then i watch her like cry and freak out all day and i go i couldn't be i couldn't handle this i would i would feel bad couldn't or be just responsible be like, for those tears fuck yeah. you <laughs> <laughs> i'm out well sometimes yeah i don't know but it's also in the in producing i'm like excuse me can you scooch over you know yeah, like, i'm yeah. very involved where sometimes it bites me in the butt, but mostly it's like, let me just get it done. Well, you know what you I want, like and you know I'm how to do it. I'm very like, I have to approve everything because I have to do it yourself. Your instincts are right. You're one yeah, of like five like, women in American history that have a diamond plaque. Did you know that? Is that right? What? I think really? So. Did you know you're sitting next to greatness? <laughs> <laughs> Which is in her bathroom. <laughs> I'm like, so what's it like? You're like, I have no potty. room for this one. I have That's no where room. you put it? <laughs> well, my bathrooms are like the theme of like up here. It's like who I've written for. And it's like Vasco Platz and Fifth Harmony. And then in the basement is the studio. In the basement yeah. bathroom in is where she puts her like <laughs> diamond singles. <laughs> was like my favorite plaques. I have like a. I have a That's actually kind of smart, low key, because we, <laughs> when you go to the bathroom, it gives you time to like That's think. So you can time. get inspired by the diamond. Dude. Oh, really? Other people see the diamond, they're like, ooh. I... Every time I go pee, I get a lyric or I get a yeah. new thing. And everyone uses the bathroom. Everyone. <laughs> so it's like. <laughs> it's a matter of time. Yeah. So everyone's going to see it. The it's actually brilliant. It's brilliant. And I'm also known as the bitch with two toilets. So like my thing is bathrooms, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a part of me now. And after a kid on Christmas, it'll be two plaques, two toilets. Like. Pew, pew. <laughs> I know I need a wall. Oh my God, it's going to be so good. We should do a video. We are doing a video. We should. He just got his first acting gig. Oh yeah. I did. Triple threat. Part of the working on myself this year. What can you not do? What so can't you you're do just like. Them? You're trusting your talents and you're just putting yourself out there. Period. Yes, thank you. I feel like this year I've trusted myself more than ever. And I yes. stopped drinking and I've been writing every day and my self esteem is getting higher Boy, and I fell in love. And like, it's that, well, I fell in love years ago, but we like got engaged. I don't know. I just feel like I've like Mikey, really done Mike. more self work this year for myself than ever before. And you're Same. thriving and shining. Let's go. Period. Let's go. It does feel, yeah. Yeah, I went to, oh, speaking of what can't you do, you have like a thousand groups that you put together as well <laughs> that are very successful oh so god. you have citizen queen my favorite girl group oh my god icons um, legends icons legends and i went to their show and we drank and that's when i found out that you don't drink because you were like let's take shots and then you didn't take one and i was like <laughs> yeah. what is this no uh, i know i like drank all of my 20s but last year i was like i should stop maybe <laughs> and i like I cut it out Good and I you. haven't for over a year and it's been like so life changing. Daryl, that was the night Daryl threw up all over our bed. So ah, they're not like hanging out no more. Uh, literally um, the sweetest <laughs> drunk ever though. Yeah. Thank God. Cause he just he, like giggles and just and it's so nice. throws up. <laughs> <laughs> he was so upset. Um, and then you also put together Acapop. Yes. Who are on America's, who are on America's Got Talent. Yeah. The tea. 
I yeah, so I have an experience. I, this. So I told him we had to watch the clip. I was gonna watch the clip here if you're okay. Because of course. I, I don't know anything about the Acapop. Acapop. Yeah. Acapop. So I texted it to you. Are you okay if we watch it? Yeah, of course. Because phenomenal performance, amazing outfits. By the way, all their comments I thought opposite. I thought, <sighs> wow, what a squad, what a uh, what a fierce look. Yeah, they also what styled a, it. <laughs> let's love us all and accept everybody. Feeling. Yeah. This song written by. Scott and who else wrote it? And Toby Gad and this artist named Harlow. That's right. Great song about like, don't worry, you'll glow. You know, nice. love yourself. Yeah, nice. Uh, it was a perfect, beautiful moment to win the show, and then you'll see what Jesus happens. Jesus Christ, how many are there? One, two, three, there's four, five, 17. six, seven, eight. No, there, there's, <laughs> there's nine. Wow. But they sing down. This is fully live. This too. is real. And acapella is... sounds so bad on live television because the broadcast mix. If you're slightly even one cent out of tune, it sounds horrible. So like the fact it sounds. As That's good, why I was like, like do you auto tune this? Because it's perfect. Yeah, there's you, no I know you're not allowed to. You're not allowed on these shows. The verse worked. Okay, okay play it. When I make sure the volume. <laughs> They're also like 12. 12. That girl's horrible. I remember you as being wilder than the wind. Tell me what's on your mind. And I remember when you used to laugh so hard you'd cry. So cute. Oh, how I miss that side. What do you are? Somewhere it's not something you gotta well the beatbox is oh, crazy right in, in the base somewhere when i look at you i see light. <laughs> even with your broken pieces on the line, even when you can't say no even if you don't believe it now just go Screens. Wow. I love him. Keep your heart open. Tell him. You are worth it. And when you're going, you'll be glowing. It's so sweet. Keep it open, brother. <laughs> Is that not crazy? Yo, what? She said, Fuck you. Yeah, she <laughs> <heard it. laughs> like, I mean, that is just insane. No instruments. Whew. That's no insane. Instruments. Howie. That's fucking sucks. They, 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 didn't sucks. they didn't get through. They didn't make it. They didn't make it. They didn't make it through. They didn't make it through because Howie. Yeah, and he fucking was, Howie. He was like, it's giving Howie. like junior high school. Yeah, he's like, like I felt like I was in. What are you dude, saying? I'm watching. I'm like, where were these kids manufactured? Like, what lab were they manufactured? Hey. Literally, 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 like, they're so talented. They're as, as young as twelve. Also, that was like their biggest dream. They worked so hard on it, and to interrupt their performances, literally, um, just objectively mean. Mean <laughs> on live and, television. And he, I was like, oh, he doesn't understand that. Like, that'll scar them for the rest of their life. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like, this It'll is a like, big moment for them. They're going to hear, in their nightmares. It's like, I know, it was so sad. And like, so sad, so heartbreaking. Oh, wait, they, he ain't there in the thing? Dude. Yeah, the, that, I missed that. was a big oh, it. It. right in the middle. Ryan, what the fuck? I got lost in the... No, I was confused, do, 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 too. Do, 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 also, I don't... Right I don't oh. I got lost, I got lost oh, in was on a modulation. Like, they were changing keys, and yeah. they fully stayed in key. And it's and so that's loud. That's the hardest thing to do. It's like key change, and he goes. Ah. 
Yeah, oh, none of them crazy. can drive. Like, fucking like, rude. I guess I, I don't watch the show, so I'm not like looking out for the ants. Oh, but yeah. I didn't he realize they could just ant during the Well, thing. it never happens in semis, too, and it never happens to kids. It's like really weird. That to the was point like, where we were, all, we were all like, well, maybe they did it for show or something. Damn, and I'm they just certain. kept going. Like, I, I, I could not going. tell that. I would have been rattled. I mean, I was still thinking like yeah. uh, Dennis and Always Sunny when they do Family Feud, and they, they, he keeps getting ant. He's like, eh. Hey, yeah, like, dude. That was like, me. I would have cried and stopped. I would have cried. Dude. And that girl in the purple, what's her name? Aubrey. Aubrey said, I'm going to show you Howie. Yeah. <laughs> and fucking sang. <laughs> I felt it. She's I like, mean, goodbye, that's remember like, this. Oh so my on Twitter, God. everyone was like, Howie, how could you? And he's like, I have my opinions or something. Right. We're like, right. okay. <laughs> Chaos. Wrong. So good. Wrong. I Wrong know. opinion. But so you I love found them. And, them you, and you're amazing this. for finding them. Oh, yeah. And for putting them together. Yeah, That's they made wild. me cry, so they're perfect. And if you don't know, Akapop, watch out for them because we're about to write bangers for them. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, my God, easy. I know. I feel like XOMG Pop and Akapop should go on tour together. Yep. Just take the oh kids' world by storm. God. Yeah. The pop. So I got a couple <laughs> songs with them that you don't even know about yet. Sing them. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally it's like, dare. XO, <laughs> MJ, you know? It's yeah, great. and ours will be it's like, like, do not be sad. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I downplayed so the acapella game. That was pretty wild. I didn't yeah. understand. That's like Sophia's what you could create so with just too. voices. You forget that it's just voices. Sophia, every comment, I feel like she was like, it's just your yeah. voice. And I was like, yeah, dude. Hey, no instruments. No I instruments. She's like, I have to remember. I was like, yeah, dude. Acapella. I, yeah. It's insane. <laughs> It's yeah. wild. So you're amazing. What else Thank are you doing? You. What else am I doing? Well, you, got the, you have this Hollywood star, right? Oh, yeah. We're getting Quick a star. Hollywood star. Do you have to pay for that? Oh, my God. I think that's a rumor. Is it? I don't because think I was so. told, like, you got to pay, like, 400 bucks or something, or 4,000 bucks. What was it? Oh, I feel what, like to, like, like you have to installation pay, fees? I think Khaled told me. I don't remember. You have to pay for, like, yeah, for, like, to be on a sidewalk. I'm like, that is not a gift. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was, like, a gift. Let but me know if you ever if have to pay it. If it's $400, like, I'm worth it. Pay. <laughs> Where's if it's four grand, I'll pay, too. I'll years ago, like, I saw, forever. like, a TikTok that was, like, Katy Perry paid $3 million. I was like, there's right? no way. Maybe that's what I saw. That's I put insane. it in my head. Bubba? Bubba? Dog? <laughs> <laughs> you okay? You got pee? My dog said I really want attention. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's that for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also saw you. You're everywhere. I saw you dancing with my favorite couple on TikTok who dances. Costa Mayer. Yep. Big, big fan. And I didn't know you could move like that. Do you know Costa Mayer? No. Oh, they're God good. God damn it. All right. So I became, I became <laughs> obsessed with them. Our for you pages are different. Uh, yeah. So they like it. met during the pandemic, like right before. Then they spent the whole pandemic together. They got married. Wait, stop. And now That's they're blowing up. It's such a were? fun story. And they're also so good at And dancing. you're so smart that you got to watch at me dancing. do my dip. Yeah. Um, They're all so good at dancing. Here, I'm going to text you so we can all watch it together. Yeah, my, my TikTok doesn't really have that much dancing on it per se. Okay, so this or is... I need to follow you. Singing, you don't need to follow me. I just post like video game clips. I mean, if you can. Oh, yeah, I feel like I see you all the time on my for you page. Like you like streaming, right? Yeah, really? Yeah, You're I'm on Twitch. Yelling, right? Is yeah, it's like you? you yelling and it's a little square. Yeah, it's a little square. <laughs> yeah. I love yeah, that. Yeah, that's Ryan. Yeah, follow me on Twitch, Ryan Trainer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fly with Ryan. Um, I mom. So mom has been waiting for this day. Oh, mom forever, wanted to she, take my dad to the beach today, and I told her you're coming. She was like. Well, I have to stay and then oh, make yeah. sure to get her makeup because she's like, well, I have to be pretty. Scott's coming. And oh, my like, God. Yeah. He's a gay man, Here's Mom. The thing. I would <laughs> and you're die for Kelly Trainer. <laughs> I literally love her so much. She like, I, I was like, you look so pretty. She's like, does my, does my eyes look good? Like, oh, my God. Her boyfriends are coming over. I love her so Scott much. Mark. No, I'm, Mark and I talk about her every single day. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> <laughs> she's blushing in Same. the back over there. Same. She's oh my god, living. they know me. Uh, but yeah, she had like all these talking points. She's like, you gotta talk about this, 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 this. Oh yeah. Uh, I when, wish you when would be you, on when camera. You first, what, when you first met Scott, you what? mom was just like, what, what, what award show was it again? The AMAs. The AMAs. <sighs> okay. Scott was, I was trying to talk to you. Oh my god! And, and mom was just like, Megan Scott's trying to talk to you from Pentatonix. I'm so end. upset. I blacked this out. I don't remember any I mean, of this. Yeah, these were like early on, and like when it, everything happened, I think we blacked out a lot of all the these award shows. Were I like did. Oh, too much. 
But yeah. you were drunk, so I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> open like, bar. That, that was like bar that was also one of our first like things we had ever done. So I was like so starstruck and like just like overstimulated. I, I like, feel like you guys were both like doing all these first time experiences like the jingle ball. I really and, needed you yeah. back then. Where the fuck were you? <laughs> also, we should have collabed back then. All about that bass. I know. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no one put that together. Wait, I just figured out what you said. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it was a big song. <laughs> You're like, yes, it went diamond. Yeah, I'm going to be heard. <laughs> so only mom remembers this encounter, I guess, of Scott trying to get me his attention. Broken. I, love that. I actually heart. do remember that. I remember really? waving you. We were stamped. Me stamps. too. Me too was another good song. <laughs> it was another good song. <laughs> Wait, it's so funny. One of the dancers at my shoot was like, What's that pentatonic song while you're in the desert? <laughs> and I was like, hallelujah. Like, hallelujah. <laughs> our biggest song. Oh, oh my God. She also was like, I don't know how to put this, but are y'all still like singing? Oh, God <laughs> damn it. No, I was like, no, I That's get it. Because we haven't funny. posted a video in over here. Yeah. I was like, no, we are. We are. No, I, I get that. They're like, whoa, I thought you were dead. Or like, whoa, you, I thought you were tired. On my TikTok. <laughs> I mean, you guys are just touring all the time, right? And then. Yeah, what? we were touring and putting up like videos on YouTube all the time. And, and then so, COVID. And then And then COVID and I we feel stopped. like you guys yeah. were like YouTubers, like all because you had so many videos. Yeah, we always did like cover, cover, and cover. And your videos were always like um, like so colorful and gorgeous. I remember being like, I was like, damn, yeah. they like invest in their videos. Yeah, we like really went hard with YouTube because it yeah. was at the time Which when YouTube smart. was making people famous. Like, Literally. The prime, it was so. the TikTok. It was the TikTok, yeah. Um and now you're a star on TikTok? And now I'm a TikTok star. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm an And influencer. a model slash dancer slash yep. actor yep, in yep, Megan yep, Trainor's yep, yep, video yep, yep. for Made You Look. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you're back You're back there. You're way <laughs> back there. No, <laughs> yeah, you're no, right behind us song. dancing. But yeah, yeah I was it. like, dance, swerve. Because it was just like you guys were being so straight. And I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, like, I wanted to do stuff. I was like, should we like... I uh, there's a lot of footage of like whole songs uh the whole song you did a run through with Mark and Mark was like very chill about it and you were like Mate, like you couldn't oh, help but serve like, and I was like <laughs> <laughs> I know I was like okay we needed Mark to give that energy yeah. <laughs> the whole time <laughs> it is so cute I like the dynamic like, he can't though. help it he's a star yeah I will say our shoulders though no, the time very, was great. Very insane. Very cute. But I was also being that annoying person where I was like, okay, on Made You Look, let's stop. And then let's glasses. And then back. Five, and six, then, wow. seven, eight. <laughs> and Mark's like, okay. And they're like, action. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing girls. It looks so balls. good, though. Yeah, I love it. Thank you for having me. It looks like that. it wasn't miserable. You know what I mean? I was living my best life. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Thanks for I was having it so was much funny. fun. Megan, you just, Megan hates the heat. Megan hates the sun. I don't do hot Megan does not like outside. I'm in a sweatshirt. So it was just an extra tough, air. extra tough day. Yeah, I also am the same in that I get anxious when my friends are part of videos. I never maybe knew that. How yeah, upset maybe that was that your mistake, me. or not. I mean, that was my mistake. I told well, my because it was myself. awesome, but it was just a tough day to do that. Right, it's like my dream, but now never again because I will never put anyone through anything bad ever again. So <laughs> I and I was like, they all hate me. Well, because well, here's, here's the thing: it's your day, and then you. You can't really focus on yourself because you're making sure you're like, does everyone have catering? Host. Does everyone yeah. have this? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, have you eaten? Are I'm you like, okay? Someone will like figure that parties. out. You don't have to worry about that. What are you doing? It's and like you're just like parties. a good friend. Like I wouldn't think parties? twice. Fuck I'm like that. Yeah. No, I yeah. agree. It's like a birthday party when you can't like have fun because you're like hosting and trying to like, you know. Yeah. Mm -mm. Birthday party is different. No. It's oh, at birthdays I'm always like really anxious. Like really? if one person's on their phone, I'm like, of course I'm boring and this party is boring and they don't want to be here and they're obligated. And then they're like, no, my I had to call an Uber. Like. Oh, so I'm you're like, leaving my party socks. So you're leaving? <laughs> I'm like, it's 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah, no. I, my, I mean, I've only had one surprise birthday party, and I was like, deuces. I need to go eat and like yeah. have a great time. Yeah. I wasn't, but I did. I don't know. Fuck them. Anyways, never will again. Well, I, well all your I friends had, are fun. I have really cool friends in the music video made you look. Scott Hoying and his fiance, Mark. And <laughs> just Mark. <laughs> and... Marky, what's your last name? Manio. Huh? Manio. Man Man yeah, you say okay. it. Like Spider Manio Man or Manio. Like Man Spider Manio? Man yeah, I was like, who? That's <laughs> fucking so random but awesome. You know, like Spider Manio. Yeah, the really famous <laughs> word that everyone <laughs> gets a reference. And then um, we wanted Chris Olsen, but he had COVID. And, but he's okay now. <laughs> I don't even know his fault. Couldn't. Um, but when we do the reshoot, I was like, Chris, 
you could be in the video now. I know that's a yeah. silver lining there. Hey, and you guys show. can be in the award show look now. Oh yeah, I still have my blue suit. I'm ready. Oh, no, fully. Seventeenth. Well, that's my birthday. Is it actually? But I would fully you're cancel. You're joking. I'm not kidding. No. I'm like, I'll cancel. Is that your birthday? <laughs> yeah, I don't. We know have any... to change the date. Well, I don't. <laughs> God. What do you mean? No, that's no, so it's a fun. great birthday. That is not a great. I don't have a birthday. No, it won't be that long at, and it won't be that hot. I am shooting early. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, you that get sounds it out of the way. super fun. Okay, it's a great start to the way. birthday. I think so too. We can get you to wake up early because you wake up at noon. I do wake up at noon <laughs> <laughs> on a good day. See, on sometimes day. it's nice to wake up at noon. Yeah, I used to be there, bro, and then I made birth. So right? is my then fucking case because I'll be up late at night. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, night. late night is so With good. Child. The world is quiet. The world is quiet. Ooh, world my brain is, is quiet. like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just yelling at my video games. But now I got to get up. I got to walk the dogs. I got responsibilities. Mm. Yeah, it's so cute. You with a poodle. Yeah, you with a poodle. With a poodle in the morning. With a baby poodle at four in the morning. <laughs> I love my Ruby. Hey, Ruby. Um, Took my dogs. Um, wait, you, mom has something? Also, my dad came here just to see you guys. Oh, my God. I love your dad. Oh, my God. Also, your dad <laughs> used to make, me. we were talking at your shoot, and he used to, like, be a goldsmith. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> He, he was a goldsmith. A yeah, yeah. A, a goldsmith. 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 That the sounds way down. cooler. <laughs> he was a goldsmith. Mom goes, me too. Oh, yeah, my God. God. Yeah, she made they a bunch of the stuff. They were the cutest power couple of Nantucket. Jewel of the Isle. Jewelry. I'm obsessed. Well, Isn't I got that cute. I'm obsessed with that because I had jewels. to wear one of these little bars in, in your shoe, and I was like, yeah. I've never worn one of these before. I and your dad those. was like, I used to make those, and I was like, You should start your business again. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> why'd you stop? <laughs> I'm trying to That's make them so retire, cool. but now my mom's my full blown assistant, which she's yeah, she's and great at. She is absolutely no, she bodies doesn't suck it. out. Yeah, she's great. No, uh, she has everything. But yeah, they're jewelers, and um, That's so cool. Yeah, they did a lot of like Nantucket jewelry, you know. And watches and baskets and whales. Baskets and whales. I used to be like, Ew, why don't you do Claire's jewelry? <laughs> Mom's like, what the fuck? I was like, you need a little kid section. Honestly, Honestly, would y'all sucks. ever start it again? No, that was no. It's the worst job. <laughs> Mom is think oh, about it. Too. Think about people who go in stores to buy jewelry. They're obnoxious. Mm. You know. No, they're great, and they gave them life. See, it's terrible. People. I love no, the, the, the what was it? The people who visited, the tourists. The tourists are great in Nantucket. It's fine. They're Everything's great. Lovely. They were not great to me. I'll tell you what. All right. Um, <laughs> can be an, <laughs> like, there, do like... you have dates for your solo stuff that you want to promote? Are you able to say any of oh, that? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I think we that don't know when uh, this will be out, so it's probably out. Probably like late October. <laughs> but say the date. Oh, it's probably already out. It's September 16th. Is when it dropped. Okay, so Mars. it already had been out. But, yeah. Can we say the name? Yeah, Mars. Mars. Mars? Yeah. Mars. Sick. It's so good. I want you to hear it right now. <laughs> I mean, I'll okay, well, right just now. basically, what are the lyrics? Of the um, the lyrics are the okay. Chorus. So you hit me with a crying lyric. The chorus is like, "I don't think that you're human. Mm-hmm. I think you're from Mars," which explains how amazing you are. And what I'm saying is like, like I'm sad and lonely. I feel different. And like growing up queer in the closet, you, mm-hmm. you develop all these insecurities. And then meeting Mark, and he just like every single quirk, goofy thing I do, he's just so supportive of it, and like loves who I am authentically. So now I'm like. Maybe I am cool. <laughs> and like my self esteem has gotten a lot higher. And maybe now I'm a I, cool alien from Mars. Maybe I'm a Mars. cool alien from Mars. Oh. So now I like brace my weird qualities. Oh, I love, I love that. It. I love it. Uh, it's uh, so uh, good. No. Your vocal is perfect. I love how you had two Thank different you. takes and you're like, which one? The raspy or the sad? And, I was like, <laughs> they're both and literally, great. You'll, be, <laughs> you'll be like, they're both great. Maybe this one. I'm like, perfect. Yeah. Upload like, to Spotify. I was exactly the same thing. <laughs> It's so good. And you Thank like you. helped produce it all out. And I heard it when it was bare bones with just your sweet little first demo recording. With like, well, uh, yo, okay. We have loud mouths. Nobody knows this, but when we're, when we're singing, sorry guys, if you're listening to this, when we sing, I have to put on a literal effect on my vocal. Is it the de so or a different It's similar, one? but it takes out those okay. things in your mouth and Scott's is, is it like because of the new minor, teeth like Scott level. is five times worse than mine so yeah. I, t- I had to tell him I was like hey buddy you need to get this you need to download this app because what if you turn away from and the tell mic? me like four times no it's like, like in ah. our words that's why Justin remember Justin has the thing with pops it's yeah. my mouth okay it's my mouth and it's disgusting and it's loud is it so- is it the new teeth or was this before I have fake teeth too it could be the fake teeth. It, it might the be the teeth. teeth. It might be the chompers. Yeah, because I was listening to an old song on an older album, and I was like, man, there's no pops back then. It didn't happen then. I did get a new microphone, but like, I don't oh know. yeah, the telephone you have can my, pick the up telephone all the little high end, little high end. 
Yeah, and then you sent me, okay, this is after telling me four times, like, you gotta fix the mouth noises. <laughs> and I was like, okay, okay. You can't release this until the mouth noises are gone. And then she sent me a plug in, like an isotope mouth yes. noise. Yeah. Anyways, I looked up, it was like $900. <laughs> Sorry, baby. I would have, I wish I could Worth just it. text it Honestly, to you. Honestly, I need to do that. I have I another producer friend. I'm like, you need to get this. He's like, mm, I'd rather pay rent. And I'm like, wait, I'll <laughs> buy it for you. And then he won't let me buy it for My him. birthday's coming up. I was like, yeah. okay. That's a great birthday gift. I'm like, let me get this for you. So I, I don't have to suffer with it. <laughs> Those no, plugins I, every, are expensive. Yeah, they are. And every time I like send you something now, I like cut out every mouth noise now. See? <laughs> I'm making you better. You're making me better. No, I love that you're an honest friend. Vocal production. <laughs> you need honest also, friends in your life. on my album, the very first song is featuring Scott because we're an acapella group, just him and I, and it's called Sensitive, and it's a great song, and you made it way better. Yeah, you sound like oh an entire god. group. It's insane. Thank you. I am beyond honored that you... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's a funny story. She was like do you want to be featured on the opening track and like, I'll put your name. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Full, I was, full I full was insulted. Cause the, I was I'm like, not ready, Megan. I'm go, not ready. Well, let me, me, let me ask to like hype him up and to get him excited. And I want to see his awesome response of like, I can't believe it. Yes, I'm crying. I thought. And he was like, honestly, like it's, bah, it's okay. Like you don't have to. And I was like, Oh guys, I guess he doesn't want to. And featured. that was, I was just in an, uh, I was just so anxious about it. And I was like, no, you don't have to do that. You're, you're being nice. And like, I don't, if you don't want to, you're like, no, I wouldn't ask if I didn't want to. Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, we like, it's not that deep. Tiptoeing around each other. And now we're like, oh, I felt like this. Um, so it was a delayed. But then an hour later, I was like, I'm kind of losing my mind right now. I called my mom. <laughs> I thought about it. I would yes. do in a second. Ryan, figure it out. I'm going to feature you on the next album. And my mom Let's was go. the one that was like, you need to say featuring Scott or and, <sighs> feet, and Scott. And I was like, okay, I'll ask him. <laughs> Kelly, the oh. list. The list. <laughs> it's a scroll, a scroll, long scroll. <laughs> that is so amazing. I love that. No, that yeah. is so cool. It's also like amazing timing because I'll just like get to have my name on an iconic album. Like right as the solo stuff's happening. It's just oh, perfect. It is so perfect. You're changing my life. Career. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the album, there's a song called Rainbow and you did all the backgrounds for it. Rainbow. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's my beautiful gays that are too afraid to come out. In there. This is for you. Oh my god, how appropriate. Come out, come Marry out. me for 17 it's years. Marry you. Yeah. It's perfect. So he's singing all the backgrounds and it sounds so gorgeous. Do we try great. this new segment of ours? What's this new segment? Working on a oh. hotline. Yeah, we have a hotline, but we didn't know what we were working on, so we didn't ask them, like, what are you working on? Send us a voice. But it's good. I they you know, there's but some we good have questions a few messages. There. Oh it's, my god. It's random. It's heard. just the you know, amazing people, friends and family that listen to the podcast and they Call in and leave a voicemail to the working on a hotline. Oh, cool. And we didn't even get to tell them you were on it, so. Yeah. Or the else they would have been like, oh my God. Um, yeah, I'm like, they didn't even mention me. They did. <laughs> <laughs> Just heads up. <laughs> yeah, so this is the right. working on a hotline. You want to call in at 661-491-4363 is the number. Oh, Here we go. We got Liz. Hey, Megan and Ryan. It's Liz. You may know me as Liz with Megan on Instagram. I first want to say how much I love your podcast and how much it means to me. I love and miss you guys so much. So I just started my freshman year of college at, and I moved into my dorm on August 26th. Although my school is only like about 20 minutes away from home, it has already been so hard and the homesickness is so real. I sit in my dorm a lot and just cry. But I love listening to Baby Girl and working on it. Those songs mean a lot. But my question for you guys is, do you have any tips on starting a new chapter of your life and how you get over homesickness? Can't wait to watch your podcast. Love you guys. Bye. Do you think she's Aww. Canadian? I hear a lot of homesickness. I, I don't I don't know, but I, <laughs> okay. I can definitely I can definitely relate to the so home cute. the homesickness. Um like yeah, going to college, even I was like Great, I get to go to college, but uh, you know, mom dropped me off. I was like, "Fuck, I'm gonna miss them." And then I was homesick for like the first two weeks. Oh, Very... we were devastated when we lost you, our first bird out of the house. It was so it was sad. It's first really tough. Chiclet. No matter who you are, where you go, you will feel homesick. Yeah, you, you're like, "Fuck, I didn't realize I'd miss them that much." Yeah, and I... it could even be short trips. My little cousin comes out here for Christmas. She goes, "I miss my dad." I'm like, "Are we not the most?" <laughs> you're fun? like, "I just said hello." <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's been a night. <laughs> yeah. Um, so but it's I, real. It it's just, it's time. Yeah. time. You get 
uh, comfortable with being. Also, like 2022, we got FaceTime. FaceTime. I'd also say like spend time making your dorm just really cozy. Cozy. Because I didn't do that. Yeah, and I like, didn't do that either. And it really helps because I feel like I'd go back to my dorm and be like, prison. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, twinkly lights make it much more cozy for yeah. sure. That's a great call, actually. Turn your dorm room into make it like oh, I'm back at home. Our other cousin Corinne is in college for like five, six years. I feel like now, and <laughs> she loves it. She's like, I'm so mad, I have to leave. But she, I remember her dorm always looks so lit, like so cool and cozy. And I'm like, maybe that's why you Ooh, love it so chunky much. Chunky knit blankets. She had like cool shit on the walls. I was like, oh, you're like artsy. Diamond too. plaques. On Diamond the wall. plaques everywhere. <laughs> Dreams. <laughs> is it that cool? Diamond. <laughs> 10 million album sales yeah that, yeah. Is, that isn't the cool category ha- yeah. hallelujah's there don't you remember no. dj Khaled hyping you up yeah he was like you i didn't realize bro. how cool it was until dj cal was like you got dime honestly record. that was the first day i was like oh shit i was like oh it's a big deal <laughs> Go home. that's us with everything i'm like number one what, what do you yeah mean? <laughs> no <laughs> idea what's going on no idea thank you liz for calling into the working on it hotline yeah, congrats liz. on congrats college. you got this yeah you got Hang this in there. just takes time um, and you'll get used to your surroundings. It's change is hard and, oh, for humans. And when people, if anyone invites you to go out and do something that scares you, go do it. Go do it. Well, you might make a friend. Well, 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 wait, 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 sorry, sorry. If no, a I'm stranger sorry. invites no. you to go to an alley and no, drink I'm and just drugs, do it. No, say no, yes. Sorry. Live roommate, life to the sorry, fullest. I know what you mean. I know what if you mean. If your roommate's like, let's, we're gonna go to dinner with these new friends. Like, make, well, make sure they're safe. You know what? Fuck it. I didn't go to college. Don't do it. No, no, you're right. Like, put yourself out there. Yeah, but did you get homesick in Nashville? Yeah, and I went out and I made friends, and then I was like, I'm just distracted. Yeah, no. Uh, every time I like and made weed. friends in college, I'm still friends with them. It's like, it's see, a good I move. didn't get, I didn't, I missed like ten core friends because I didn't go to college. Yeah, I got a I'm soul. Like, I have like floating soulmates five. out there. You know? <laughs> yeah, true. But I'm picking them up now, like you. Yeah. You know, Better late than never. And Chris Olsen. <laughs> well, I knew him as a child too. So. Anyways. Oh, yeah. Here's <laughs> another one. This one just like uh, cracked me up. Uh, here we go. Brian, why won't you just reach out to me and date me? Well, is that it? Don't know who you are. Don't know where you are. <laughs> you didn't Honestly, information, lady. That's called a go-getter. <laughs> okay. To the point. Keep she it quick. What she wants. <laughs> Says what she, she wants. She's angry, also. Yeah. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. That sounds like mom, and you're, you're like, like I didn't know. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. Do we know her? I had no idea. Y'all need a little button that whenever like. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> so good. Right. Clip that. Um, so, Ryan, why won't you date her? Just still working on myself, you okay. know. Got Whatever. a lot of work to do. I feel like but you we're halfway say that. there. I think I I f- I'm feeling good, feeling great. What? Huh? I feel like you say that and you don't mean it at all. But what do you you're mean? Just like I'm working on me, you know. Something I still else. am. Something I'm else. grinding for next summer. You don't even know what I'm gonna look like next summer. It's gonna be yeah, crazy. I, I yeah, I have noticed chiseled. though. Great. Yeah, oh, I, I look great now, but I'm going to look no, insane. No, you know what he's been doing? He's been posting like thirst traps in the gym. Yeah. Our that. gym and Get our home. And I'm like, what are you doing? Are you like dating? <laughs> no. Uh, I tried. I tried. I took someone out a couple nights. Didn't really work out. How do you she act when like a, a girl you don't know comes that's dating Ryan? Here? Yeah. You see they're really a catfish happened. or they're a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> You're like, I locked them in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> they're adorable. <laughs> Usually they're sweet and lovely. <laughs> And <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Been, like, I, I love anyone. them and I treat them like my new sister because I'm sweet and lovely. <laughs> and I don't want them to be afraid of me. <laughs> so I'm like, hello. <laughs> you know? Oh my God, you sound like Ms. Doubtfire. I did. <laughs> hello, dearie. <laughs> <laughs> I must look, look like, like a Yeti. yeti. <laughs> yeah. Be home by nine. <laughs> I'm ready for a sister. So. All right, relax. Okay. Here we go. We're going to travel a lot. I'm just free bird. Australia. We got another one here. Uh, this is from Jill. She says Jill, wait for it. That's her Twitch name, but I call her Jill the Thrill. Oh, you know this person. Yeah. Jill. Hey, Ryan. Um, hey, Megan. This is Jill. Um, Jill, don't wait for it if you know who I am. Anyway, I wanted to call and ask, like, what does it look like to work on commitment? Commitment in relationships, commitment on working on yourself. I know Ryan had, you know, commitment to sobriety or like Megan's commitment to her health journey. Can we talk about that? Because I would love to hear more about commitment 
like, sure, with relationships, but I want to know more about commitment to committing to loving yourself because I find that that can be harder than committing to loving yeah. those around you. You like this? Anyway, no, I love just... you both. I, I hope you have okay. an amazing day, amazing time, and yeah, let's talk about commitment. Okay, bye. Jill, the thrill. Thank you so Jill. much. That's Obviously, a great one. Megan That's a great is uncomfortable with. I'm uncomfortable because I'm upset with myself. So you start. You still struggle loving still, yourself. It's a. It's just like. I mean, it's like uh, anything that <laughs> like. Okay, remember the organizing girl was over here and was like, it's just like a fitness journey. Like, you have to keep doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the same with loving yourself. Yeah. And yeah. when you slack, you get, like, war. I, I've been slacking. Absolutely. It goes in and waves. And you get dark in your head. You get dark, deep, dark thoughts. And the only thing that makes me realize I'm, like, lose, uh, I'm slacking is Daryl being like, hey, hey. You're being super, you know, like someone to catch me. Yeah, it say, sneaks up on you. That's why it's like, I can't believe you're doing this life by yourself without a lover. Well, because I, I, uh, I mean, I like to I talk to myself. I'm a psycho. So I'll just be like, you're acting like a little bitch. Figure okay. it out. Yeah. So I'll write you down. You also say you that know. in the gym. You're like, yeah. don't be a bitch. Yeah, I'm I'm like, like, wow. yeah, if I don't finish this, I'm like, you fucking bitch. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, I, I gotta be better at um, being kinder to myself, working on myself. Um, yeah, but it's just like making that commitment with my trainer to be like, yes, you can murder me three times this week. Yeah. Fine. Like, and if you don't have the luxury of a trainer, yeah, I, I, yeah, I have the luxury I, of two trainers right now. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all yeah. never heard that joke we ever. We are, we, we, we do. I should have you know been a per fucking do? personal no, fitness bro, trainer. bro, when we get to our dream bodies, we need okay. to do a fucking Shanti video of okay. us doing train with the trainers i mean i'm debating <gasps> well, starting I like like an sinker train with the trainers. training with the trainers <laughs> and then we do a full workout routine we die yeah. once you know and then rake in that cash okay deal and um, save like <laughs> and yeah. do it for a good cause you know <laughs> exactly oh uh, commitment commitment with the sobriety oh, yeah. thing it's i mean I, this wouldn't be possible without my amazing family i i feel fortunate every day i'm like oh i have family that loves me and it makes being sober much easier i feel bad for people that struggle with addiction because they probably don't have anybody to like you know i could talk to any every single person in my family and know that they'll have my back and yeah, like they'll help amazing. me to be like you're you're great. Like Megan just calls me randomly. She's just like, I'm just so proud of you. I oh called him. I didn't do anything. That I didn't do a so fucking sweet. thing. Two you know? nights ago, I called him. I was yeah. like, just so you know, I love you. Oh. And I'm so proud of you. I had to be on FaceTime. I'm just like, I want to see your face. I see so your like, face. I'm, I'm going to throw up in the super. I don't want to stare at my phone. Like I, I was physically like, ill. Call me? You're like, no. I need to see it. <laughs> yeah. That's um, so sweet. I love yeah. that. That warms my heart. Yeah. And then being public about it. I'm like, all right, I can't let any of these people down. You know, I got to keep riding this out. That helps. Um, and then, but also feeling, I just feel good, but all, I, I've had, had moments like a couple of weeks ago, I don't know, I was having a really tough week and I was breaking down and I just couldn't sleep. Cause I was like, fuck, like, did I, am I making the right choice? Like, I still can't, do I miss my old life? Do I miss partying? Do I, I like, I don't enjoy this as much as I thought I was going to enjoy. And I just start writing everything down in a journal of yeah. like just terrible, terrible thoughts. Yeah. and get it all out and then throw it away and I, I felt like oh I feel much better now yeah. when before I would just pour a glass of whiskey stuff it all down yeah you like know, I like... did miss this yeah no I know what you mean. <laughs> 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 no I know what you mean though when you write it out and you like ask yourself logical questions yeah. like why am I thinking this and like right. do I really want to do this and like when you see it all on paper you're like oh great <laughs> no yeah, like, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you, Megan's like, what are you? No, saying I was right thinking now? about. That. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I, mean, I was like, you're like, no, <laughs> no. I was thinking about what my the my favorite thing my therapist has and brings up all the time is like, you got to treat those negative thoughts with commitment on working with myself. You got to treat those negative thoughts as burglars. Like, would you oh, let yeah. your burglar come in and be like, come on, sit down. Can I get you anything to drink? <laughs> like, no. Be like, Kelly, get what? The fuck out of my house. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. So. With those, yeah, Kelly was. She's like, come on in. <laughs> um, but with those deep, dark thoughts, she's gonna be like, get out. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. this isn't real. Um, no, and that's then true. with relationships, it's just easy when you have a perfect guy. Mm. Right? It's Amen. true. It's true. I also <laughs> feel like I have never been super disciplined as a person, but I can commit to things when I love to do them. So, like, I stopped drinking and replaced it with like learning to produce. And like, I can get lost in that for hours and find that flow. 
That's nice. So that was like a big so find just a hobby. mechanism for me. Yeah, because I did not have <laughs> hobbies. My hobbies were <laughs> drinking and working. Yeah. <laughs> so find and hobbies. so it's like finding things that I can get lost in and know that I'll be obsessed with. It was like helps me connect to. Right? I love that. Yeah. Great. And be, I think we answered And be gay. And be gay. <laughs> and your voice Better. is probably so happy now that there's no like booze oh my God, fucking yeah. it up. Yeah. Um, all right. Working on a hotline. Success. Success. Again, you got to call that 661-491-4363. Working on a hotline. Ooh. There's Get it tattooed. Three sixes because we're in the Illuminati. <laughs> yeah, because mm. we're the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's not oh, real. God, it's all it's just throat. folklore. It's not real. Relax. <laughs> Everyone's gonna start. Freaking. I laughed too hard. Oh. I hurt my cords. Okay, I love you all so much. Thanks for listening. Um, back, baby. This, yeah, this is an awesome episode. How to blast. Uh, where th- can they find you? Tell the people what's going on. Oh, yes, at Scott Hoying, H O Y I N G, on everything stream arts <laughs> and get on Christmas and get on Christmas and Mars. But mostly Mars. I'm just kidding. Mostly, I'm just kidding. Mars. mostly, mostly Mars. get on Christmas. We'll see you at December. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then Thanks for having me. whatever, me, Megan Trainer, and then Brother Ryan. <laughs> me, Megan Trainer, and Brother Ryan. Working uh, on yeah. a pod and all and I'll still, be, I'll still be on Twitch probably when this comes out. So follow me on Twitch. Okay, we love I'll you so there. much. <laughs> 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 Bye. Bye. Yay. Oh my God, wow. Oh, an applause.